Hello dear friends and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. It's good to see that some of you are actually watching these videos and I thank you for taking the time to do that. I feel that in these modern times people just don't take the time out to listen and reflect on God's word. I was recently blessed in the fact that I was able to find on eBay a church altar and hymn book from 1864 selling for less than £10 and it helped me to realise how much times have changed in a relatively short space of history. In fact, I would just like to read some of what it says about the Bible. So I hope you enjoyed this small piece. O Heavenly Father, Thine eye is upon me now. Keep me from all wandering thoughts while I am in Thy house of prayer. Help me to worship Thee in spirit, and bless to me what I shall hear of Thy holy word. For Christ my Saviour's sake. Amen. Remembering that this was written to be said at the beginning of a church service, it is amazing how true it is of us today, as it was when it was written nearly 150 years ago. Too often, people allow their minds to wander, and just listen to what God has to say for his word, so that we may be blessed by it. Please be sure to check out the website at www.dailyvisualbible.co.uk I seem to be adding new stuff to that site all the time, and I hope that as well as honouring God, it's something of interest to you as well. Now let's do the right thing and open God's word of prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Exodus, chapter 21. Now these are the laws which you shall set before them. If you buy a Hebrew servant, he shall serve six years. And in the seventh he shall go out free, without paying anything. If he comes in by himself, he shall go out by himself. If he is married, then his wife shall go out with him. If his master gives him a wife, and she bears him sons or daughters, the wife and her children shall be her masters, and he shall go out by himself. But if the servant shall plainly say, I love my master, my wife and my children, I will not go out free. And his master shall bring him to God, and shall bring him to the door, or to the door boast. And his master shall bore his hair through with an awl, and he shall serve him for ever. If a man sells his daughter to be her female servant, she shall not go out as the male servants do. If she doesn't please her master, who has married her to himself, then he shall let her be redeemed. He shall have no right to sell her to a foreign people, since he has dealt falsely with her. If he marries her to his son, he shall deal with her as a daughter. If he takes another wife to himself, he shall not diminish her food, her clothing, and her marital rights. If he doesn't do these three things for her, she may go free without paying any money. One who strikes a man, so that he dies, shall surely be put to death. But not if it is unintentional, but God allows it to happen. Then I will appoint you a place where he shall flee. If a man schemes and comes presumptuously on his neighbour to kill him, you shall take him from my altar, that he may die. Anyone who attacks his father or his mother shall be surely put to death. Anyone who kidnaps someone and sells him, or if he is found in his hand, then he shall surely be put to death. Anyone who curses his father or his mother shall surely be put to death. If men quarrel, and one strikes the other with a stone, or with his fist, and he doesn't die, but is confined to bed, if he rises again, or walks around with his staff, then he who struck him shall be cleared, only he shall pay for the loss of his time, and shall provide for his healing until he is fully healed. If a man strikes his servant or his maid with a rod, and he dies under his hand, he shall be surely be punished. Notwithstanding, if he gets up after a day or two, he should not be punished, for he is his property. If men fight and hurt a pregnant woman, so that she gives birth prematurely, and yet no harm follows, he shall be surely fined as much as the woman's husband demands, and the judges allow. If any harm follows, and you must take life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot, burning for burning, wound for wound, and bruise for bruise. 
If a man strikes a servant's eye with his maid's eye and destroys it, he shall let him go free for his eye's sake. If he strikes out his male servant's tooth with his female servant's tooth, he shall let them go free for his tooth's sake. If a bull calls a man or woman to death, the bull shall surely be stoned, and its meat shall not be eaten. But the owner of the bull shall not be held responsible. But if the bull had a habit of going in the past, and it has been testified to its owner, and he has not kept it in, but has killed a man or a woman, the bull shall be stoned, and its owner shall also be put to death. If a ransom is laid on him, then he shall give for the redemption of his life whatever is laid on him. Whether he has called a son, or has called a daughter, according to this judgment, it shall be done to him. If the bull calls a male servant or female servant, thirty shekels of silver shall be given to the master, and the ox shall be stoned. If a man opens a pit, or if a man digs a pit and doesn't cover it, and a bull or a donkey falls into it, the owner of the pit shall make it good. He shall give money to its owner, and the dead animal shall be his. If one man's bull injures another's, so that it dies, then they shall sell the live bull, and divide its price, and they shall also divide the dead animal. Or if it is known that the bull was in the habit of going in the past, and its owner had not kept it in, he shall surely pay bull for bull, and the dead animal shall be his own.